All right, fellas, I'm out in the garage here this morning, and it's pouring down rain right now and thundering outside. I've got my big door shut because the wind's blowing, and I didn't want the, the rain to be blown in on Ruby sitting over here because I just cleaned her up yesterday. But thought I'd jump on here and give a little update on the 32 Ford three-window coupe, let you all know where I'm at on this thing. Boy, I tell you what, she's cleaning up pretty good. Um, I've got a little mock up there. Boy, doesn't that just look so cool? I'm just digging this little kit. You know, when the wife and I go to the cruise ends, uh, you know, I really like the AD trucks from 47 to the 53, but uh, I always gravitate to the 30 model Chevys and Fours. I'm not, I'm not brand loyal, fellas, but uh, I like, I like all of them. Just like those fat fender uh, cars and trucks back in the 30s, man. They just, they just look bodacious, man. Anyway, <clears throat> I've got this, like I said, I got this all, I've got it all sanded down to this point. Got all the flash uh, removed. Uh, this body had a lot of, let me get my pointer so you don't look at my fat finger. This body had a bunch of uh, mold lines down through here and, and all the way across the back here. And then uh, some in the corners here and up front. Well, you, know, you guys know where all these flash lines are at. Uh, I removed all those. Uh, this has been sanded. All I ever use really is uh, uh, I start with 4,000 and then I go over with 8,000 and I finish up with 12,000. That's about all I do. Should I do more? Uh, you know, 8, 10, 8, 4, 6, 8, 10. Should I do them all? Yeah, probably so, but this is what I've been doing so far and uh seems to be working out okay. So, you know, my motto is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the body, I read some articles on this where some fellows were talking about the gap between the rear fender and the body, the gap being more pronounced on the driver's side. I'm not seeing that. It's the same on the other side. It's a nice, good, tight fit. Now, I sanded everything down really good, and uh, it looks really, really nice. Everything's fitting good, so uh, I went ahead and glued those front bumper brackets on. And I, I kind of, whoa, you hear that thunder? <clears throat> I think the light just flashed here a little bit. Anyway, uh, I glued those front bumper brackets on. And I, I stuck the front bumper up there, just kind of like a trial fit. And it looks like it's going to be fairly straight, so I guess I got lucky with that one. These are the uh, rear bumper brackets right here. Uh, that's the, uh, actually the frame cover and the rear bumper bracket. Yeah, I went ahead and glued those bumper brackets on there instead of putting it on the uh, car first because I was kind of afraid that I wouldn't, I don't know if I can get that spreader bar, that rear spreader bar, because see, it, it actually hooks to the frame. So once you get these covers on there, it's going to be kind of hard to sneak that past that return flange there. So uh, I'll take a better look at it. Uh, uh, I'll have to put these on, just tack glue them, and then... Uh, See if I can get that spreader bar in there, but uh, either way, I think it's going to work out okay. And you know what? I've been looking. I've actually got the engine that comes in this is pretty cool, but uh, I've actually got a couple engines uh, setting aside that I've been wanting to use. Uh, a couple of you old boys sent me these engines, and uh, one of them is a nail head, and then the other one is a, a big block 572 Chevy. Boy, wouldn't that look sweet in there? I haven't really decided whether I'm gonna use these side panels or not. I don't know. I know for I know for a fact I'm not gonna glue them to the hood. They'll all be separate pieces sitting in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint them when I uh, shoot everything in black. And yeah, I'm going gloss black with this one. So you guys, I got my fingers crossed on this sucker. Um, another thing here is you got to watch. Let me show you the instructions. You got to watch in the instructions because it refers to the high boy version, which I am not building. I'm building the full fendered version. So I've kind of went through the instructions and put a big old X on what I don't do that, boy. <laughs> and then they even show you, they give you reference on the box of uh, the, the two versions you can build. And I just dig the full fendered version. They both look pretty cool, but I'm going with the full fender version because I just really like the fat fenders. All right, fellas, uh, I don't know what else I can tell you about this here. Uh, I'm, I'm in no big rush on this, uh, taking my time. 
I didn't really do much over the weekend, um, but uh, yesterday I got out here after washing, waxing the wife's new car, I, I started uh, the sanding process on all this stuff and uh, looking pretty good. Uh, I'm liking what I see, so uh, fellas, I'll be back with another update when I get further along. All right, I'm done.